Hey YouTube, JP Dillon, aka Jordan Fury, your vintage audio guy. Today's subject is amplifier modules, and the victim here was a Yamaha CR440 that had a blown IG style SDK type amplifier. And what you often see nowadays is the uh, replacements are counterfeits. They look like the real thing, but they weigh less, the headers aren't as thick, they overheat quickly, or they don't bias correctly. Now, uh, Parts Express has these little uh, Zhuangjing modules uh, that are based on the TDA 7293. And they're good for about up to 40 watts a piece if you use plus and minus 36 volts, which is pushing it. Now the CR440 uses plus and minus 30 volt rails, which sag down to about 27 volts when you load them up. Uh, so as you might assume, this is what I've done. I have gotten rid of the IG modules in favor of the TDA type modules. Now as I've written on the heatsink here, it's the parts express number 320-6532. You can get, they come in a set of two, they're about 20 bucks, maybe 24 or 25 including shipping. And they literally wire right up. You just remove the old modules. You need a plus, minus, and ground for your power supply. You need an output uh, and an input. Now on the uh, modules, the original modules. Pin 1 is your input signal from the preamp. Pin 2 is signal ground. So I've taken that via a coax lead and piped it directly into the input here. Uh, I've just taken the uh, rail voltage from the power supply directly since the foil traces on the original packets were a little bit ground up. Uh, however, if you're curious, I believe uh, it's pin eight and eight and six or something like that. I don't remember. Anyway, get a schematic if you're confused. Uh, we can tilt the machine up here a little bit, and it looks like that. Uh, let's see how many pins: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, pin seven. Uh, looks like the positive and pin 5 looks like the negative. No, pin 6 is the negative anyway. So those suckers wired right up and then the output uh, of the amplifier here um, I don't know if you can see that there. I attach that to the low side of where the emitter resistor used to sit right in front of the RC network there so you're still utilizing the protection circuit that the machine has for DC and the time delay. I thought that was nice. Everything's wired up. It's been running for about a half an hour at full output, which is 30 watts. Heat sinks a little toasty. But uh, as you can see, I've got a nice clean sine wave and I was getting 16 volts AC RMS, which uh, is about 32 watts a channel into 8 ohms. So it's doing exactly what it used to. And if I grab my little thermal probe over here. So after a half an hour, on an 8 ohm load, we're pretty steady. You get closer to the header. It's about 56 degrees centigrade. It's a little bit hotter on this side. And actually, for some whatever reason, that concentration of heat there. The hottest part of the heat sink is 60 centigrade right by the header. It's about what you'd expect. It hasn't gotten hotter than that after 30 minutes, and it's about 80 degrees in here, so that's pretty good. Uh, the rest of the machine still needs work in the tuner. The tuner isn't working. You can see the detector meter there is offset. So I need to look into that. But it works. 
So the next time you come across a CR440 that has blown modules and you want to have a little fun, uh, get these little TDA based modules. Uh, all I had to do was drill holes in the heat sink and add some mica insulators to keep it insulated and some transistor hardware underneath the screws because the headers carry the positive real voltage so don't uh, just bolt them directly to the heat sink or you'll be very disappointed. Um, so I just thought I'd show you guys this little tidbit modification here and I know all, ever, all of you purists are going to say, well it's not original anymore, its value is destroyed. Well, I'm sorry, but the modules are just a bunch of transistors in a package much like the original IG device. And I'm sure I could put it on a distortion analyzer. Visibly on the scope it looks very nice, but I'm sure it's pretty freaking close to what the original distortion specs were. So, if you're a purist, go look for the original. If you want to have some fun and you want to toy around with it, get the 320-6532 module pack. It comes with two modules, wire the thing up, and keep using your set. Uh, one last word of warning, again, maximum voltage they suggest for this is plus and minus 36 volts, so don't uh, expect to put it in your, you know, your big 50 or 60 watt per channel thing, uh, it's not really good for that, it's good for about 40 watts tops. So, hope this video uh, you'll find useful to you, uh, if you've got one of these lying around that needs some love, uh, check it out. More stuff to come soon, thanks for watching.